Hey guys, what's going on? It's Del, and I'm back. And today we're starting a new series. This is Secret of Monkey Island. And so yeah, I'm starting a new series on this. This is an absolutely fantastic game that I have played many a time. And we're going to be starting right from the beginning. So if you're not sure on what this game is, if you've never heard of it or played it before and whatnot, this is a point and click adventure game which came out in the 80s, early 90s maybe. And obviously there you can see that is what the graphics used to look like. But as you will see there, that is how they have re they've remastered the game, hence why it's the special edition. And to work on new systems, you can get it on PSN and XBLA, I think. But I'm playing it on Steam. And it's an absolutely fantastic game. So yeah, we are going to... Oh, no, we can't skip it, apparently. I was going to say we're going to try and skip the... Yeah, we can't skip it. So, we'll just sit through the credits. I tried recording this episode yesterday, but once we got into them, once we first started playing the game, the FPS started dropping because uh, my computer had been on for way too long and it had been doing all sorts of shit. So, hopefully, this is very early in the morning right now, so hopefully my FPS sh shouldn't drop this time around. So when the credits have finished rolling, you'll we can jump into the game. I won't talk over any of the dialogue, and I'll just ex once we get in, I'll explain how the game works. Because um, in the old game, there never used to be any dialogue. You can see because you can switch between the old and the new version. Like the, you can you can switch between the graphic style basically and the game engines. But yeah, we'll jump into it and see what happens here. Hi, my name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Um, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck. Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The scum bar. Right. Thanks. So yeah, this is what the game basically is. So this is part one of Secret Monkey Island 1, uh, the three trials. So we'll go speak to the pirate leaders now as we go into the town. So here, you see I control this mouse, hence point and click, and I you click to walk where you want, and you can do different things. For example here, you can see the poster. If you scroll with the mouse wheel, you can go through the different actions that you've got available to you. Only a few of them will work, for example, that's look at poster. Re-elect Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. So yeah, and then it also the one that it thinks you will want to choose, you right click because if you as you can see in the bottom left it says walk to poster, bottom right it says look at because it assumes you're going to want to look at the poster because you can't really do anything else with the poster because it will not let me pick it up. So yeah, guy told us to go to the scum bar. Let's go in the scum bar. Is, although, I have to open the door, then walk in. So, yeah, this this is what this game is like. It's very comical. There's a lot of different things. What are you looking at me for? So, like for example, here you, cho you choose the dialogue which you which you say. I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Guybrush. Yeah. So what? He's a handsome looking fella, isn't he? Excuse me, but I'm looking for the dartboard. Dartboard? We don't have one anymore. There was a horrible accident. Drinking and darts don't mix. What happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens when... Hey, wait a second. That is none of your business. Where can I get a drink? 
A drink? You could wait for the cook to notice you. But that would take all day. Just find a mug and sneak into the kitchen. That is what we all do. Sorry to bother you. Bye. Right. So yeah, we can... Like, so... I'll, I'll just play and you guys can see what is going on. Like, basically... So you can talk to this dog, or if you walk through here, these are the three pirate leaders that we need to speak to. And so yeah, we'll, ju we'll just go right ahead and get on with the game and speak to them after we've spoken to this dog, because this dog has some quite funny things to say. His name's Spiffy. Grr! <laughs> Okay, that didn't work that time. You'll see. You'll see here. I think I need to pick rough. Rough. So yeah. Worth. This, this game. Nothing really makes sense in this game. It's. In, it's interesting to say the least. So yeah, we'll speak to the we'll speak to these pirate leaders and uh, see what these guys have to say. What be ye wanting, boy? I want to be a fireman. I get lost, boy. You bother us. Of course, us. I don't want to be a fireman, but you can just pick different dialogue options what be ye wanting, and boy? see what happens. Basically, you can you can just see what happens with everything and not be have many repercussions. I want to be a pirate. That's what this game is all about, so, wanting to be a pirate. Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this whole chuck thing. So? So, no pirates means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Do you have any <gasps> special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Well, all right, but you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through the three trials. Uh, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword and the art of thievery and the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Right! You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. And then you must drink grog with us. Grog! So, now we have a lot of different dialogue options to pick from, so we'll go for... Tell me more about mastering Tell the sword. Tell me more about mastering the sword. First, get here your sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword, Master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Oh! You want to find somebody to train you first. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on a sword master without any training. <laughs> Tell me more about mastering the art of thievery. We want you to procure a small item for us. The idol of many hands. In the governor's mansion. The governor keeps the idol of many hands in a display case in the mansion outside the town. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. Hey, they're a particularly vicious breed. They might be able to drug him or something. Tell me more about treasure hunting. Legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island and bring it back here. Should I have a map or something? Well, you can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot! <laughs> 
what's in that grog stuff anyway? Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following. Kerosene, propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. As you can probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic, volatile substances known to man. <sighs> the stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. So yeah, as you can see there, a lot of the dialogue options aren't actually vital to the story. But what we're going to do here is we need to get in the kitchen like the other pirate said. So we're going to wait for the cook to go out here and he's going to go over into that part of the into that part of the bar. And then he's, we can walk in the door when he's not in the kitchen. So all we need to do is we just need to stand around waiting for him to come out. Which hopefully he'll do soon. He should do eventually any time now and then but when we went in the kitchen this is where it started to lag the first time so hopefully that won't happen this time there he goes see the fat bastard hey, I went too early the kitchen. and now we can go in I went in too early so he caught me close the door right so we can scroll through this and we can pick up the hunk of meat we can pick up this pot uh, where is pick up there's pick up and we can... That, now there's this. You see the fish there? You'd think we want to get the fish. So we'd open this, but then the bird comes over. And then if we try and pick up the fish, we can't because the bird, bird will get us. My hand off. So, this is like... it's re Some of the puzzles in this are really difficult. And if I'd never been, if I'd never played this before or be shown some p things in this game, I would have no idea. But if you walk here, the bird does that. And then you keep doing it and he will eventually fly away. Like so. Then he's going back. Make him fly away for good. Or, well, good enough. Then you get him when, get the um, fish when he goes. So, in here there is a pot of stew. It's boiling hot. Which is boiling hot and a barrel of grog. I think it's full of that foul stuff which, pirates drink. So we need to get a mug and we need to fill it up with grog. Now, even though I've played this game before, I can't remember all the things from this game. So... We've got everything that we can get from in here for now, unless we can... Because you hit I to open your inventory. So if I use pot with pot of stew, maybe I can fill up... I don't want to put that in. No, we can't fill up the pot with the pot of stew. I was thinking that might come in handy later. So yeah, we'll we'll leave this uh, now if it'll let me walk out the door. There we go. And we'll carry on through the through the town to see what else there is there's no point talking to any of these pirates because i don't think these guys meanwhile here's a cut deep scene beneath monkey island the ghost pirate lechuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava captain lechuck sir i there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir. I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> you are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, 
There seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young, inexperienced, probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bother you with it. <laughs> I'll have him taken care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. So yeah, as you see, that was that is the main enemy in the game. And my FPS has just started to drop. That's not good. We'll see if that decides to fix itself anytime soon. So I'll just show you guys what it was like in the old game, basically. If you hit F10, you can switch into the old version. So this is what the game actually used to look like. And there's no sound, no dialogue, the, like no voices or anything. You, and then you just you have to click on these and then you click on the item and stuff. But if you hit F10, you just go back straight to what it looks like now, which is a considerable improvement, to say the least. So yeah, we will go on through the town and carry on with the game. And hopefully my FPS isn't going to stay like this. So we can walk through the archway and go into the next part of town, which is here. And there's various things we can do here. We can talk to this guy. Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named... Sven? No, but I once had a barber named Dominique. Close enough. Let's talk business. You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. Only 100 pieces of eight. See, now, this is the map that we need to get, but I don't have 100 pieces of 8, because I've only just got into the game. So, uh, no thanks. I don't have we'll have money. to get 100 pieces of 8 and come back to him. Well then, buzz off, kid. It's bad for business. So, we'll, we'll walk over here and speak to these fellows over here. See what these guys want. Hey, nice rat. Do you like rats? Yes, I love rats. They're very intelligent creatures. <laughs> More intelligent than him. Why, there's a story around these parts that a bunch of rats actually crewed a ship here from fabled Monkey Island. Uh, no, that's not right. It was actually a group of monkeys. That's amazing. But true! When they arrived, they sold the ship for a pretty penny. Only time I've seen anyone get the better of old Stan in a deal. <laughs> I thought it was rats. Do you guys know the sneaky looking man on the opposite corner? Wanna buy a map, eh? Our maps are top quality, not like the bird caged liners you get from that clown across the street. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> These are actually copies of the minutes of the last meeting of the Melee Island PTA. Can't even give them away. <laughs> Want one? No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Okay, that's fair. So, there we go. We just got... Say, are you guys Two pirates? Two pieces of eight and minutes from the last PTA meeting. No, we're a wandering circus we'll troop. We'll look at in a minute. But this rat scared away the elephant. <laughs> Shut up! That guy has got a ridiculously of course annoying we're pirates. laugh. You can't buy clothes like these off the rack. What do you want? What's in the keg? Rum. Jam. Jam. Uh, rum. Uh, rum and jam. It's an old pirate favorite. Everybody knows that. I'm really interested in this pirating thing. What do you want? How come you're on this street corner and not on a ship? Looting, pillaging, sacking, that sort of thing. Well, 
pirating hasn't been panning out so well for us. There are some unnaturally talented pirates in the area right now. Operating out of Monkey Island. So we've been pursuing alternate means of self-support. We're trying to start up a circus. It was working out well, until the rats scared off the elephant. Now you've depressed us. Go home. Okay, so that's everything these guys have got to say. Now I think we're gonna we, let's check out some of these buildings because we can go into these. Let's go. I know. I know exactly who. What's in here? There's this woman. What may I help you with, son? Wait. Don't say anything. I can sense your name is is Guybrush. Guybrush nose hair. No, no. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Am I not right? Lucky guess. Half the people I know are named Guybrush. I suggest you open your mind. It will help you in your coming journey. So? My mind reading skills tell me it is your future you are interested in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? Yes, tell me everything that's going to happen to me. I am getting a vision. Ooh, that's I see you taking a voyage, spooky. a long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah! I see... What? See what? I see a giant monkey. Yikes! I see you inside the giant monkey. Uh, gross. Wait. It's all becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. No. The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. Ooh, oh, she's disappeared. Yikes. So yeah, we will go back and see it afterwards. Now, there's different, there's various things that you can take from here. I th well, I know the first thing is we can pick up. Where's pick up? Pick up the chicken. Maybe no one it's miss just this one. Chicken thing. on a pulley, if I remember correctly. Let's try pick up not the bones. No thanks. I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo we stuff. Can't take that. Can we take the chalice? Wait, I'm really getting bad at. No thanks. Finding out. I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff. Okay, open this basket? Well. No thanks. Something will probably jump out and bite me. Look at the statue. See if there's anything. No thanks. I'd rather not touch any of this Same creepy thing voodoo again. stuff. Same thing again. Is she is she back or is she still gone? Yeah, she's still gone. Okay. Hey! I'm back and I'm ready to know more about the future. Guess no one's here. That's a shame. So yeah, so we got the chicken. It's a chicken on a pulley, I think it is called. We, it gets called that, I think, later on or something. Maybe it was called that in the old. If I hit F10, it's, yeah. Okay. So yeah, we will go. We will carry on because I know I, I remember some things from this game, but not everything. And I know exactly what that chicken on a pulley is used for, which you guys will see later. So let's go through on to the next part of the town. Which is where we have the church, we have the shop, we have the prison by there, and then the back alley where someone says that, which we will walk down. Hello? Anybody in here? Hello? You know, bad things could happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. And at this time of night, nobody would be around to see it. Did you hear something back in here too? No. 
I'd better get your name. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I was just leaving. Listen, Peepwood. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Well, whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. Sheriff Fester Shinetop. Take it from me. This is a bad time to be visiting Melee Island. A very bad time. My advice to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Boy, I feel much better knowing there's an officer of the law around. He seems such like such a nice officer of the law. Can we look at this poster? Oh, a circus! Ah. I love a circus! I remember what the circus poster is for. Um, is there anything else over there? We can't pick up any of this stuff on the floor. That walks back to the street. The poster is the only thing clickable. I... What? Just popped up the sign. Let's look at the sign. Employees only. Employee. Okay. Let's walk back to the street and we'll take a look in... No, we won't. We'll call this an episode. So, guys, yes, this is my... This is episode one of my new series of The Secret of Monkey Island. Which is an absolutely fantastic game, and I hope you guys enjoy. It, you see people walking around there; they don't do it. You can't interact with them; they don't do anything special. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like and all that good stuff because I'm hopeful. What I plan to do: get all the way through this game, all the way through number two, then go through Tales of Monkey Island one, two, three, four, and five because I own them all. So hopefully, I don't know how long it'll take, but hopefully we'll get through them all. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, will see you guys in the next episode. Ta-ra for now.